am Chef Tina Joe, and welcome to Real Life Raw. On today's episode, we're going to be making wild rice with acorn squash, pomegranate seeds, and walnuts. Now, most of the ingredients for today's recipe can be found at sunfood.com. So to create today's recipe, really all you need is a chef's knife and a dehydrator. So the first thing I want to do is talk about wild rice. It's wonderful and really simple to add grains into your diet. Wild rice is a rice that easily sprouts in the dehydrator. So what I have here is two cups of wild rice, and you can see certainly not sprouted yet. And simply what you do is you fill the rest of the mason jar up, or glass jar in this instance, up with water, distilled water or good drinking water. Leave it in your dehydrator between 24 and 48 hours, really depending on the altitude and the humidity in the air. Um, once it's done, this is actually what it looks like. I mean, big difference. Look at how beautiful and sprouted this now is. So I'm going to set this aside because I want to talk about our squash now. So this is acorn squash, and really the most difficult and challenging thing about this recipe was peeling the acorn squash. So once you do that, what you want to do is um, julienne it first, and then go ahead and cut it up into nice chunks, and try to get them at equal size. And we're going to add some walnut oil. If you haven't tried walnut oil, give it a go. It's really interesting um, how the flavor enhances the walnuts that we're going to be adding later on. This is Himalayan salt. And don't worry, all of the um, amounts for the ingredients will be available for download. And this is coarse black pepper. And this is pumpkin spice. And most of you know that I'm pretty wild about the conglomeration of spices. I want to show you this. This is dark agave nectar, and this is lacuma powder. And we're going to be adding this to our squash. But I want to show you what happens when you blend this up. You can simply do this with a fork, or if you have. It creates this beautiful caramel. So this is great. This is a nice little snack on apples or bananas, things like that. But what we're going to do today is we're just going to add it to our squash. Isn't that fabulous? And lacuma is absolutely loaded with beta carotene and vitamin B3. So it's a great addition to our diet. Now this is the juice from one orange. It's about a fourth of a cup is what you'll get. And we're also going to add some of the zest from the orange. This is when it's really important to make sure that you purchase organic um, because you don't want to be using the skin if it's not an organic orange. Who needs all those pesticides? So this is starting to smell wonderful. Okay, so we're just going to mix this up. And then when we're done blending it, we're going to add this in going to actually place this in a 9 by 13 baking dish, glass baking dish, cover it with some saran wrap, and put it in the dehydrator. Um, and this takes about 8 hours. So you've got your rice cooking in the dehydrator, you've got your squash kind of doing its thing. Of course, the squash will be done beforehand, before the rice. This is what the squash will look like when it's ready. It's wonderful. Actually, it's really hard for me not to eat this separately. You could, actually, if you wanted to, and not add this to the rice. But this makes a really wonderful dish. It smells like heaven. So what we're going to do now is create our rice dish. So we're going to bring over the rice. And we're going to simply add our butternut squash, or our acorn squash, I'm sorry. There we go. Oops, somebody's jump ship there. You want to make sure that we get all of this really delicious glaze that was in there. So again, we're going to be adding some of the walnut oil. And if you don't have walnut oil and you don't feel like going out and buying some, you can certainly use olive oil. It's just it's really nice to kind of change things up a little bit. And walnut oil isn't something that I use during the, you know, 
the warmer months of the year because it's kind of heavy. So this is a great recipe to try. That was Himalayan salt that I added. Here's the walnuts. And this is one cup and I just roughly chopped these. Oh, and pomegranate seeds. Who doesn't love these? And this is just really a beautiful holiday dish. Okay, let's mix this all up. You can see how absolutely gorgeous this is. And it smells fantastic. And I'm telling you, if there are people in your life who really aren't quite jiggy with uh, squash, which by the way is absolutely loaded with potassium, this is a wonderful way to kind of sneak it into their diet. Look at that. Look how absolutely beautiful this is. Certainly a dish you'd be proud to serve during the holidays or bring to a potluck or, you know, to any party that you may be going to. All right, there you have it. Enjoy. Happy holidays. I'm Chef Tina Jo. This is Real Life Raw. Remember, be good to you. Make life delicious. Bye for now.